welcome back to Site Review TV. Is that the name of my show? Site Design Review TV, one of those. Uh, this is the show where I review random websites from the internet. I am a professional uh, marketer, a professional web designer, if you will, a professional information architect, a professional seller. There's a lot of hats you can wear when you are a marketer. Uh, I sell a lot of stuff, I help clients sell stuff, I do it with websites. So that's why I'm qualified, I think, to do this. Uh, this one, I got off Design Critiques, as always. Um, Alex Contos, this is obviously another portfolio website, it looks like. Let the work do the talking. I agree. Uh, this is much better, I think, than that in the one we did in the last episode. Let the work do the talking simply because of the con. It's just normal. It's kind of like people want what they expect, and I like weird designs, but it's very taxing to the mind. Uh, this is much more simpler. Let the work do the talking, and there's you know a nav bar to the left. That's good, and then I can see some work here. So I understand it's a portfolio website. I get that he said, you know, I'm not going to talk much. I'm just going to really show you my work. And then I kind of get a view of his work. I kind of get all the information I need right here above the fold. Now, putting all the information one needs above the fold isn't always the best thing to do uh, because people are going to naturally scroll, right? Um, what I think you should put above the fold is at least answer two questions. Is where am I and what can I do here? Uh, here is obviously Alex Contos. Uh, and what can I do here? I'm going to look at his work. His work's going to do the talking. Like, you, you need to answer those real quick within, you know, a second or two. Uh, so people can decide if they want to stay here or not. This thing is wild. I got to click on it. So he must be a designer? He must be, yeah. And he, did he make that? I mean, that's kind of, that's interesting uh, artwork, I think. If he made this stuff. And I know I kind of just run through this. I don't really read everything, so I might miss some context sometimes. But if these are, if this is like his like artwork, if he's a designer or something, that's funny. Starving Africa of water since 1877. Oof. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, this is really interesting, especially how to do that choice. Huh. Study in Cyprus. So some of them have messages that I get other ones don't. But it's cool. Either way, it's cool. So he must be uh, some kind of designer. That's awesome. This really gives me a feel of um, artistry and like good artistry, right? Like he, he thinks and he has something to say and he has uh, the technical skill to execute on what he actually wants to say. And he also knows how to present it uh, in a way that makes me curious about what he does have to say. Uh, and that's, that's good. It, I get the feeling that this is an art gallery, you know? kind of walk into an art gallery and it's set up a certain way uh, and it's meant there's not a lot of distractions so you can actually appreciate the art that's how I feel about this website not a, like just like he says let the work do the talking so I think this guy definitely knows what he's doing especially when it comes to this portfolio website uh, so yeah I'd give him an A plus on that home page for sure so he's a graphic designer and web developer so that's how he is able to kind of oh and he's also based in Cyprus cool um, nice. See, he's, he, like, breaks the fourth wall, which I like. Criticizing designs on the internet. Hey, me too! And obsessing about Switzerland. Ah, so many of my friends. So many. As a designer, he's been designing professionally for eight years. Oh, that's awesome. Masters, so that's why. And can code them. That's, okay, so that's really, like, I was really... His art is great, and this website's pretty great. So I was like, he must, is he the, 
is he both? So he must be both, and that's awesome that he is. Uh, that's all there is to it. So he can really design you all kinds of stuff. So he's a really, this is awesome. Uh, I'm really impressed with this website. I would, if I was interested in like designers and stuff, I would, I would definitely, I would definitely look this guy up. Cause I like his style for sure. This is hilarious. So this is guys. This is, if you're gonna, if you're a designer and you have a portfolio website, you know, take some, take some pointers from him. For sure. Simple, elegant, shows off his work. It lines up right. He has a little bit of tease here with 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 the with the motion. Kind of intrigues you. I'm very intrigued by this website. It's a really good job. Literally, the only complaint I have is I wish this was you know a next page. We had more to show. That's really cool. Uh, and this really weird font. I'm really drawn to that really weird font because it's really. He, I think he really understands art. That font makes me feel like, huh, what a weird font. Like, what an artistic font. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, great. You know, the one thing, no. I was going to say he should probably have some kind of contact form or email capture here, but I actually think that might take away. I think just letting his art kind of stay here. It kind of works for his, like, coolness. Like, he's so cool, like, he doesn't even need to ask. Uh, he's gonna need to ask for you to contact him. He's an artist, well, he's an artiste. He's gonna need to ask for your email or ask you to hire me. Let it speak for itself. I actually feel like that's super cool. I wish people would think about that about my website, which they definitely never will. I'm much too salesy and not a artist. Say hello at alexcontos.com. That's cool. I even like his email address. Nice. Keep it up, Alex. Really impressed with your website. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want me to review your website or if you have any critiques uh, or all the criticism I'm sure uh, you have in your head, please let me know. Put it down in the comments. Uh, I appreciate it. You have a good day.